Hello guys, thanks for viewing this video and welcome to this channel and today we are going to be talking about the Java region matches method which is a method used to test if two string regions are equal. What happens is that a substring of a given string object is compared to a substring of the string argument. So this method returns a boolean value uh, which means that it will return true if these string subregions are the same and matching and by default, the method is case sensitive, but it will ignore the case sensitivity of the string values if and only if ignore case is set to true. So in the first example, I will show you how the first variation of this method works by default. So let me start by declaring my string variables. I will declare three string variables. The first one, I will call it str1. Now give it the, lo the value of I love programming. The second string variable, I will call it str2 and I will give it the value of do you love it? Like this. And then the third a string variable will be called str3 and now here I'm going to write do you love it in all caps so that's it so now I'm going to apply my uh, region matches method to see if these uh, two string match so what I'm going to do, I will do a system that out that print line and inside I will call my method. So I would say str1 region matches, which is the name of the method that I'm calling. And then here I need to specify the parameters. So I'm going to write the parameters and then I will explain to you what they mean. And here I will say four. Okay, so here what I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to check a subregion in str1 with a subregion in str2 and so these parameters are going to specify which subregion uh, i want to check and also the number of characters uh, i want to check so five here represents the starting index position of the subregion in my string variable str1 it will be useful to determine the subregion of the string to be matched. So I will use this index starting index position to determine okay which subregion of my str1 string I want to check. So index position five is actually this is index zero, index one, index two, three, four, five. So it's starting from here. Okay, starting from here from the character E here. And str2, str2 is the string argument and it, it represents the string with which uh, we would like to have a match. And uh, zero here is representing the starting index position of the subregion to be matched in the string argument str2. So index zero. So, about str2, the subregion starts from index 0, from, from the letter D here, okay, up to the end. And uh, the parameter 4 here represents the number of characters to compare. Okay, so since here, so it's going to start comparing from the character E here and up to 4 characters um, on. So from E to the character R, it's going to compare. And here, since we are specifying four characters here, it's also going to compare from character D up to 
and character who are here. So that's why if I run, I'm gonna get false. Okay, so I'm getting false. As you could have noticed that based on the parameters we've passed, um, there is no match, okay? So the characters that we are checking, the sub-regions of our two strings that we are checking are not matching. So next, um, if I want to make sure that um, that we get the value true here in our console, we are, for example, going to try to check if the subregion, the substring love here, is matching with the substring love in str2. So what we have to do is to make sure that we precise or specify the correct starting index positions of the subregions. So I'm gonna write, uh, so as we can see here, love in str1 starts at index position two. So I will say index position two here. And uh, love in str2 starts at index position, I think this is, Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it starts at index position seven. And here is the number of characters to, to match, okay? So now if I hit run, you will see that I will get true. All right, because if we start from index position two here and we count four characters, we have love. Here, if we start at index position seven and count four characters, we will have love. So these uh, string variable subregions are matching. That's actually how to this um, method works. So now I'm gonna show you also um, the case sensitivity of uh, this method. Okay, as I said that by default, the region matches method is case sensitive. So as you can notice here, I declared a string variable SCR3 and um, uh, I give it the value of uh, do you love programming, a string value, and it's written in all caps. So I'm gonna try to, to check if love in str1, okay, is matching with the substring love in str3, even though love in str3 is written using uppercase characters. If I hit run, I will get false. Why am I getting false? As I said, region matches method is case sensitive. So it's not ignoring the case sensitivity of these characters. So that's why it's returning false. So now how to make sure that the method ignores the case sensitivity? I will need to add another parameter, okay? To make sure that the ignore case uh, parameter is set to true. So that's will lead me to my second example. So the second example, I will show you how to make that the method would ignore the case sensitivity of the string values. All we have to do is to add another parameter, like I said. Um, so I will write true here. So this is to set the ignore case parameter to true. And uh, so true indicates that we want the method to ignore the case sensitivity. Now, if we run our method, we will get true here, meaning that love the sub string in str3 here the law of substring is matching with love in str1 because now we have set the ignore case to true so the method is now going to ignore the case if we remove as you could see we will get um, false yeah, so if we set to false here, we will get false because the method is not going to ignore the case sensitivity. But if we set to true, now if we run our program, we get true here. So 
as that was it concerning the um, region matches method how you can check that two sub regions in two different strings are matching so using the region matches um, method so that was it concerning this uh, video and i hope it has been informative and uh, please don't forget to support this channel by liking this video and commenting if you have any suggestion and question and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel bye